The Sun and all of its surrounding planets, including the Earth, sit in a somewhat secluded part of the Milky Way galaxy. Even though the known universe is littered with millions upon millions of stars, there are only three others that are closer than five light years to the Earth. However, if we broaden our definition of what we mean when we refer to nearby objects on a cosmic level, there are many more stars closer to the Sun than once expected. While we may sit on the outskirts of the Milky Way, it doesn't mean that we are all alone in this region. A celestial object which is held together by its gravity and consists of a luminous spheroid of plasma can be classified as a star. In today's video, let's talk about some of the closest stars to our solar system and what makes them unique. Epsilon Eridani at a distance of about 10.52 light years from Earth lies Epsilon Eridani. It is located in the constellation of Eridanus and happens to be one of the closest stars to our solar system, which also has planets orbiting around it. It is the third closest star to Earth, which is visible to the naked eye when observed under favorable weather conditions. The presence of a significant dust disk has been observed around the star, which appears to contain an entire planetary system within. Scientists even speculate that some of these worlds may exist in the star's habitable zone. This is a region where the planets are not too far to have a frozen surface, yet not too close to the object to be arid. This means that some of these planets may have liquid water, which flows freely on their surfaces. Epsilon Eridani has been a subject of constant intrigue over the years and has had a place in the lore of many science fiction television shows. Ross 248 Next up is Ross 248, located at about 10.3 light years from Earth in the Andromeda constellation. The star was first cataloged by Frank Elmore Ross and was named after him. The most interesting fact about this star is its speed. It has been observed to be moving so fast through space that in about 36,000 years, it will take the title as the closest star to the Earth besides our Sun. It will hold this title for about 9,000 years and will be an interesting event for humanity to experience when it happens. Ross 248 is classified as a dim red dwarf. This has caused it to be a point of interest for many scientists. It is closely studied for the information it can provide us about its evolution and eventual demise. The Voyager 2 probe, which is one of the farthest man-made objects in space, is estimated to make a close pass of the star, getting as close as around 1.7 light years away. However, this won't happen for another 40,000 years, and the probe will most likely be dead and silent as it flies by. Ross 154 Ross 154 sits at 9.68 light years from Earth. It is a red dwarf which is well known to astronomers thanks to it being an active flare star. This characteristic causes it to significantly increase its surface brightness in just a matter of minutes before quickly dimming back down for a short time. It is located in the constellation of Sagittarius and was also first cataloged by the American astronomer Frank Elmore Ross in 1925 as a part of his search for variable stars in the universe. Light in 726-8 Light in 726-8 is a binary star system located in the constellation of Cetus and is 8.73 light years from Earth. It is also commonly known as Gliese 65 and is one of the members of a star system that contains a flare star that fluctuates in brightness over time. The star is named after Willen Jacob Leighton, who was instrumental in helping determine the proper motion of the object. Sirius Perhaps the most well-known star other than the Sun is Sirius. It has the distinction of being the brightest star in our night sky and has been referenced in more ways than one throughout human history. The star was used as a harbinger of planting by the ancient Egyptians and as a predictor of seasonal change by various other civilizations. The importance of the star in our history is undoubted. It is a binary star system containing two stars called Sirius A and Sirius B and is located some 8.58 light years from Earth in the constellation Canis Major. It is more commonly known as the Dog Star. Sirius B is classified as a white dwarf, an object similar to what our Sun will become as it reaches the end of its life cycle. Lalande 21185 At 8.29 light years from Earth sits a faint red dwarf called Lalande 21185. It is located in the constellation Ursa Major, and like most other stars, it is too dimly lit to be seen by the naked eye. While it may not be easily visible, it is still a major point of interest for astronomers. This is because observations show that 
the star may have other planets orbiting it. The study of the star and its planetary system will likely give us more clues on how such worlds form and evolve around much older stars. It is named after the 19th century French astronomer Joseph Jerome Lalande, and while it may be surrounded by habitable worlds, humans will probably not have the capability to travel to the system anytime soon. Wolf 359 Found just 7.78 light-years from Earth, Wolf 359 is a very dim star. Observers have to use telescopes for any hope of catching a glimpse of it. As it is a faint red dwarf, it is not visible to the naked eye and is located in the constellation of Leo. It is most famous for having a prominent role in some very famous sci-fi TV shows. Barnard Star the second closest star to our solar system is Barnard's star. It is around 5.96 light years from Earth and is named after the American astronomer E. E. Barnard. It was once speculated to have planets around it much like our Sun, and astronomers over the years have made countless attempts to try and spot them. Unfortunately, none have been found yet, and the likelihood of there ever being any decreases as the years go by. While it will remain a focus for observations, the discovery of any planetary neighbor seems highly unlikely. Barnard's star is located in the direction of the Ophiuchus constellation. Alpha Centauri The Alpha Centauri system is the closest celestial neighborhood to the Earth, which contains stars that are close to us other than the Sun. Even though Alpha Centauri contains the closest cluster of stars outside the solar system, their light still takes just over four years to reach Earth. These stars are intertwined in a complex orbital dance together. The primary stars in this system are Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Both of them are about 4.37 light years from Earth, but there's also a third star called Proxima Centauri, or sometimes called Alpha Centauri C. This star is even closer to the Earth than the other two, as it sits at just 4.24 light years away. If we ever attempt to send a light sail satellite out to Alpha Centauri, it would probably make contact with Proxima first. A car traveling at speeds of 60 miles an hour would take more than 48 million years to reach Proxima. It is located in the direction of the Centaurus of Centaur, a constellation that is easily spotted from the southern hemisphere of the Earth. Additionally, observations show Proxima Centauri may have a rocky planet orbiting around it. The small red star is about one-tenth the size of our Sun, so it is unlikely that its orbiting planet contains any life. This planet is named Proxima b, and its estimated mass is at least 1.3 times that of the Earth. Although the planet orbits around the habitable zone of the star, studies have confirmed that it does not have an atmosphere similar to Earth. In June 2020, it was announced that a second planet had been discovered orbiting the star. It has since been named Proxima c, and seems to be much larger than the Earth. Its orbit has been observed to last 1,907 days, and it does so at one and a half times the distance that the Earth orbits around the Sun. Any planets in the orbit of Proxima Centauri have to deal with massive flares that pop up from the star, which is detrimental to the growth of life. While there are many stars around the Sun, and many more may even be discovered, signs point to none of them having a habitable planet like the Earth. Evidence suggests that if we are to find a planet that may sustain life, we will probably have to search deeper into the depths of the Milky Way or beyond. Thank you for tuning in! Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and remember to subscribe for more interesting videos about the mysteries of space. Do you think that Epsilon Eridani or any other star in our galaxy may have a habitable planet orbiting it? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.